Hello, I'm here on Chasey's on this really busy Monday afternoon. Once again, Jones has walked around for several hours. The cultural change is real and present. I like to walk around, like I say, so I can get my facts right. I don't want to deliver false information. You see, also, those I criticise, let's take two as an example. My MP, Ian Byrne, for West Derby Refugees, welcome. Paula Barker, the MP for Waverley, will be challenging the forthcoming general election. If cultural change was such a wonderful experiment, then how come you're not showcasing it on your social media, let's say? Big photo shoots in Kensington and Fairfield, Top of Smith Down Road or wherever, with new arrivals championing cultural change and this is the way forward and each community needs to get ready because you're going to be looking like Kensington and Fairfield soon right how come you're not showcasing this on your social media exactly because the minute you do that it's the end and you know it is right it's the end so you know deep down that the people don't want further cultural change of our glorious city you know they don't and that's why you don't showcase what you profess to all be in favor of like i've said the cultural change is a wonderful experiment if experiments the word uh to use then how come you're not showcasing it all over your social media cultural change is the way forward folks that's what you're voting for the forthcoming general election. And big photo shoots of you and the new arrivals, as I say, Kensington and Fairfield, Thomas Smith Down Road or wherever. No, silence, right? You'll make the odd reference to uh, refugees welcome or opposing the Ro Rwanda uh, plan, which was a silly plan anyway. Uh, but other than that, you won't exactly nail your colours to the mast and say, right, you're wrong here, Joe Owens, right? You're wrong. Cultural change is a wonderful thing and should be embraced by all in Liverpool because more's on the way. As I said, big photo shoots. Thomas Smith Down Road, Kensington and Fairfield. No, none whatsoever. Silence, because like I've said, sorry to repeat myself, but I feel I need to. You know, the people of Liverpool don't want it, right? So for you now to showcase it, let's say, if that's the right word, on your social media, big photo shoots, like I say, Ken's in a favour, toss me around. It'd be the death knell of any electoral chances of the next general election of being re-elected. It would be the death knell and you know it would. But privately, or should I say, that's not the word, uh, but that's how, you, without saying and doing the photo shoots, that's what you're doing. You just be remaining silent and turning the blind eye. You haven't even got the decency to nail your colours to the mast and say, yeah, we're all in favour of it and there's more on the way, right? You're not going to do that because you, you haven't got the courage of your conviction to do so. At least Joe Owens has nailed his colours to the mast and we all know where he stands. You lot, as I've said, haven't got the courage of your conviction to say, I do a photo shoot the top of Smith Down Road, Kensington and Fairfield, loads of new arrivals. This is the way forward, Joe. And uh, get ready, the people of Liverpool, because your community neighbourhood is going to look like Kensington and Fairfield. You haven't got the courage of your conviction to do that. But you're still supporting that, except you're remaining silent. You're doing it that way. As I say, the odd reference to Refugees Welcome or the Rwanda Plan or something like that. But you won't showcase what what is happening. What what is happening to Kensington and Fairfield? You're supposedly not against it, but you're not showcasing it, if I've said that right. Of course you're not. You've no intention of showcasing it. You've no intention of a photo shoot. Kensington and Fairfield, Top Smith Down Road, all over social media, loads of new arrivals. This is the way forward, folks, because get, get used to it, there's more on the way. No, you haven't got the decency to do that. It's all 
Re just remain silent and let it happen, right? And like I said before, so-called opponents of the Tories, you agree with the Tories on this one. In fact, you probably got, would go one step further and want more. So you agree with the Tories on more cultural change and more new arrivals being dispersed in our glorious city. You're in favour of it. So uh, that's a strange one, agreeing with the Tories on more new arrivals being dispersed in our glorious city. And like I said before, or should I say, like I said yesterday, the wonderful St. Patrick's Day was a really uh, nice day yesterday. Cultural change and cultural cohesion are mutually ex exclusive. You can't have cultural change and maintain cultural cohesion. It, it can't happen, right? To maintain our customs, traditions, beliefs, ways, values, you can't have cultural change as well. Like I've said, they're mutually exclusive. You can't do it. So how do you address this? Well, you're not addressing it. You're remaining silent. That's what you're doing. Like I've said, if cultural change is just a wonderful experiment, then why aren't you showcasing it all over your social media? Big photo shoots, Kensington and Fairfield, Thomas Midtown Road with the new arrivals. Well, exactly. It would be a, a electoral suicide were you to do so. Right? You haven't even got the courage of your conviction to nail your cause to the mass like Joe Owens. Right? I believe the new arrivals who've made Liverpool their home want to embrace the Scouts fam. You're more than welcome. The vast majority, I believe, don't want to embrace our ways, beliefs, value standards. They need to relocate to a new town or city. And then we close the door. What is your counter proposal? Well, you haven't got one. You just remain in silence and letting cultural change sweep across our glorious city. That's what you're doing, right? You haven't even got the decency to nail your colours to the mast so people before the general election at least they know what they're voting for but no silence I think it's very dishonest even deceitful of what you're doing like you've said where are the photo shoots where's the showcasing of cultural change new arrivals on your social media platforms no zero Right, there is none. And like I've said, if we don't stop the, the influx of new arrivals coming into our glorious city, we will lose our unique Scouse character, traditions and cultural identity. Not we may, we will. Like what has happened to London, right? No more Cockney Sparrows fly over London and we know why. So anyway, once again, Jones has brought this message from Church Street, the heart of Liverpool city centre, to the good people of Liverpool. At least you know I'm in your corner. So remember, come the forthcoming general election, the residents of the constituency of Waverley, where I'll be challenging Paula Barker, get out and give Joe Owens your vote, because I'm the only person, the only candidate opposed to fear the cultural change of our glorious city. Because if we don't, we're going to lose our city. Yeah, it's going to be here, like London is, but it will never be the same. It will never be Liverpool as we know it. Cultural change and cultural cohesion are mutually exclusive. You can't have both, right? You, the MPs, you, Liam Thorpe, Lou Paleco, even Super Scouts of Ricky Tomlinson, you can't be that dumb to not understand that Cultural transformation and cultural cohesion are mutually exclusive. We either keep our ways or we adopt the new arrivals. It's that simple, right? The Jones is here, I'm in your corner. And remember, no to cultural change. Yes to Scouse Pride. Shout it out loud, Scouse and Pride. Okay, thank you.